what if your car could drive itself through a storm? Artificial intelligence within cars is making this possibility a reality. Bahad helps lead a company called Sensor Cortex that's trying to crack one of the biggest problems for self-driving cars, how to navigate through the Canadian winters. We solve the problem with multiple sensors because we believe the more sensors you have in the equations, the better the visibility. Cameras can cover them with snow or mud or rain and they will, you will lose that visibility. The AI will tell you there's a car in front of you. It will relay that signal to another computer in the vehicle that will decide, should I brake, if braking is possible, or should I swerve if it's not possible. The vehicle will be able to make all of that decision. These are not ideal travel conditions. But for Fahad, a lack of visibility on the roads means more opportunity for him to test out his technology. He considers himself a snow chaser. Snowstorms, they embody the ultimate visibility deterioration. And every time there's a snowstorm, we just drive that car around in areas where we want to collect data. We take that data back and then we start processing it and seeing how the system behaves when the visibility condition is deteriorating. It will combine the information from all of the sensors to maximize the visibility within those conditions. The scariest part for me is when I drive, I'm driving a really expensive machine. I'm driving in the worst conditions possible, so I'm just worried that I either would slip and hit somebody or somebody would slip and hit me, so. Are you ready to let artificial intelligence take the wheel? We will be the first company that will have such data driving in deteriorated weather conditions. And not only will this be beneficial for Canada, it will be beneficial across the globe. So I believe there will be a, a good amount of time before the technology is ready and the public is comfortable giving the wheel to a, a machine. But I would say 2035 would be a good date.